Hi, this is Lindworth playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with post mortem blind. Now, last time I searched the room where the murder took place, and it yielded surprisingly little. I just have this ring, a ring bearing the inscription to Faye with love. Uh, now, actually, let me check the notes. Uh, suspects and contacts. Um. Uh, Regis Ruby. Yeah, so Faye is, is someone else entirely. Um, I just I wanted to check because I didn't remember um, what was Mrs. White's uh, name. Um. And uh, I guess now I'm going to the office of this guy, Jacques Halloween, the main suspect, former member of the something, a, a detective, he's the guilty one. Well, I haven't established that. He's, he's a suspect for sure, but, you know, whether he's guilty, that remains to be seen. Uh, so I'm going to his office, because I don't have anything else to do. Is the office like is it like a tenement house? No one here. Hmm. Locked, obviously. What else did I expect? Looks like there's nobody in there. I need to find a way to take a look around. Hmm. Do I still have the lock picks? Oh, and also, I found this, a very fine slivers of glass that was in the room, but a set of lockpicks, do I still have them? Hmm, no. Locked, obviously. What else did I expect? Looks like there's nobody in there. I need to find a way to take a look around. <laughs> Okay, so I have, I have, might have, I mean, I must have missed something in one of the previous locations. Let's talk with this guy. McPherson, here again. You've got back your tit for life. Right. You're not going to believe this, Ulo, but I've got a problem with a lock again. Would you have another set of lock picking tools? What am I, a locksmith? Do you really think I have this great supply of lock picks or something? Really, Mac? You're not much help, Ulo, but I understand. You don't want to reveal any secrets that may be too compromising. I know. Um, okay, so no lockpicks. So I have to find some other way then to get inside, because that's literally the... Like the only location um, that I have to... I do not want to be mixed up in all this. No thanks, it's not for me. Way too complicated. And that I have to explore. Uh, the detective, I don't think he says anything. Uh, at least he didn't the last time I was here. Can't you see I'm busy? Come back later, McPherson. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Bert. Mm. You again, sir. I have nothing more to say to you.
Sir, aren't you on a case? Now, I'm a bit curious about, first of all, this door? Because the fact that I can even approach it means it's probably significant in some way. And second, there is this broken elevator here, which also, I'm not quite sure what's the point in letting me uh, inspect this. Oh! Oh! Okay, so I have a hammer. I can uh, break down the door, which isn't the most discreet way of doing things. Uh, but I guess that's what I have to do now, if I used up the lockpicks on the hotel door. I wonder if I could have switched that? Uh, you know, if I... because it wasn't... I don't think it was required for me to even go into the room. It's sure, that was a, you know... Uh, no-brainer to me, because that's where the murder took place, but I think this location became available to visit before I even went into the room, so I could have used the lockpicks on this, but I guess now I'm using a hammer. telegram is for like well but, but but I think it's stupid to use someone else's landline uh, because you know I probably shouldn't even be here uh, forgive me miss I seem to have misplaced the number thanks all the same if you want to talk to someone you will need their number glad to be of service sir goodbye I think I will if anything I will use my own telephone in my own office I don't even know if that's his mother. My name is McPherson. I expected to find Jack Elouin here. Do you know where he is? My son is away. He is... He is not here. Why do you want to see him? Oh, okay, I guess there's no way to sugarcoat this according to the protagonist. Now, now, what is interesting to me is that she didn't question the fact that the window is broken and I've clearly broken in. Like, she's remarkably calm for meeting a strange man uh, in a place where he, by all accounts, shouldn't be. Madame, Eloin is wanted by the police for murder. Liar! I do not believe you. Jacques is not a criminal. Get out! He's not here! Scram! Any idea where he may be hiding? Hiding? I swear he's not here. Why would he hide? Uh, I've not seen him uh, for several days. I have no idea where he is. You're lying, Madame Eloy. Tell me where I can find your son. I mean him no harm. On the contrary, I need to talk to him. You do not want to harm him. Can... Can I trust you? Please understand, Eloé has not done anything. He's afraid, that's all. He's not hiding, but he needs help. My son is up there. Follow me. Mm, 
Oh, so that's like an attic or something. He's upstairs. Just go on up. Would you object if I look through more of his things? Double lock. Safe like this, it's hopeless without a key. Hmm, apparently, you would not. Okay, so that's probably something to remember that it is that it is here, mm, some kind of a lockbox. Hmm, pictures of planes. Okay, let's go up for now. Right. Jacques Elouin, I'm arresting you for the murder of Regis and Ruby White. I'm innocent. I may have led the murderer to the Eatons, but I did not kill them. The Eatons? What are you talking about? It's a long story, but... This is what happened. It was after a rather tiresome case. The story of adultery that ended badly. The husband had hired me because his wife has supposedly run off with the money. She told quite another story, of course. I will spare you the details. I came home shattered. During my absence, a certain De Alpin had come by about some employees who had swindled him. I knew that De Alpin was a banker and that there would be plenty of money in it, but I was dead on my feet. So I told my mother to call him back and tell him to get lost. That's when she showed me the check. So, off I went again. Oh, so now I'm, I'm playing as him. Would, would that give me any clues as to where the key is to this? Not quite. Okay, so that's the letter. Let's read it. Uh, addressed to the private detective uh, Jacques Halloween, the letter requires him to locate two swindlers who supposedly stole an object of great value from the home of Mr. de Alepin. Uh, the address of the thieves, a uh, brother and a sister uh, called Paul and Grace Eaton, is included in the letter. Mm, the Alepin promi promises to pay good money as long as the affair is kept quiet and well removed from the eye and ear of the police. Okay. Hmm. My mom's place. She's gone out again and locked the door behind her. Hmm. Okay, so that's the Ethan's apartment. Let's go to his house and maybe talk to him or whatever. like that on his door no answer no one's going to annoy him with a lock like that on his door hmm. okay uh, so let's go to the police station and see if I can well if it's not my buddy Elwa how is business going, Snoop? Hmm. 
Does the name Eaton's mean anything to you? A woman and man. Brother and sister. Americans. Eaton. Eaton. Let me think. No. I have nothing under that name. Are they dangerous? Uh, yeah, we're supposed to keep it under wraps, so... So, Mimil, how's it going? Tell me, the police would not have anything on a certain Grégoire de Alpin, would they? The Alpin is one of the biggest sharks around. A filthy rich banker, an old slightly eccentric Parisian. Have you gotten on his bad side? that you're willing to tell me. You do not loaf around behind a counter for nothing. The Alpin has plenty of connections, but no friends. That's what makes him so influential. He knows all the right people. He is basically untouchable. Hmm. Yeah, I think investigate for him. I'm not supposed Goodbye. to tell them. See you later. That's right. Let honest folk work. I'm not supposed to tell them that I'm working for him. Not so fast, buddy. If you're after the inspector, you have to see me first. Can I call anyone? No. Old Muggins here. Okay, let me read that again. Uh, requires him to locate two swindlers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they go by that name. Now, you no, know, there's an obvious par parallel, sort of, to, to the Whites, because they were also an American brother and sister. You know, actually, they were a husband and a wife. Uh, but still, he said, you know, Helwa, uh, when questioned, he said, I led the murders to the Eatons, so were the Eatons like, because uh, they were ac accused of this theft uh, and are referred to here as swindlers, did they like conceal their identity um, uh, by pretending to be whites, uh, you know, a couple uh, and a different people at that? And then there was this, uh, you know, it, significant-ish note in the police report about um, the woman, you know, who was supposedly ruby white, uh, having recently dyed her hair, and there was hair dye in the sink. Mm, so, um, you know, that would also be something that you could do if you were trying to hide your identity, you know, change your appearance, basically. Can't you see I'm not here? If it's for the poor, I gave up the office. Lovely day, isn't it? Say, can you give me the Eaton's room number? The Eaton's? What do you want from the Eaton's? Are you a friend of theirs? You don't look the sort they would associate with. It's, I think it's stupid to, to say my name. Uh, 
Let's try going with this. Paul and I were in the same regiment during the Great War. We bonded and I was in love with his sister Gracie. So when I heard they were coming to Paris, I just had to surprise them. It is certainly going to be a surprise. Except you're the one who's going to be on the receiving end. As I understand it, you and your sister... Ha, <laughs> that's a laugh. His sister, the tramp. She's not his sister, she's his dame. That Mr. Paul really conned you. In any case, ha <laughs> ha, your lovebirds have blown the nest. Wait, wait, wait. So, they are not brother... Actually, she at least is implying that they are actually lovers, uh, but are currently pretending to be brother and sister, and if they are really whites, then, uh, you know, if, if they are, those are the same people, then that was actually less of a pretend, because they switched back to a couple. Wait, you mean Paul and his sister are not in fact brother and sister? I know how to recognize lovebirds, thank you. Yours were more like two vultures about to devour each other, always tearing each other's hair out. And she was the one who ruled the roost. She was hardly ever around. That Paul used to get in a right state when he was hanging out with the Montparnasse lot. Montparnasse? You mean people who live in the Montparnasse district? The, the artist's quarter? Paul hung out with artists there. Anywhere in particular? The Alembic gang? That's where all the layabouts met. Birds of a feather stick together, as they say. These bloody rascals really want to drive me up the wall. I have a floor to scrub. So you with the mustache, clear off or I'll chuck you out on your ear. Mm, can I get past her? Hmm. Okay, there's no entry in here, seemingly. And where do you think you're going, eh? You gonna walk over me to get in here? Some people have work to do. Okay, so I can't get in there for now. Uh, Alembic Bistro. Let's go there. And the time he dressed up as an angel, and he... Did not have a string on his bow. Berenice. Oh, sorry. Jacques Eloine. Perhaps you could help me. Why not? Would you like a drink? Come on, don't be silly. I'm a modern girl. Come, have a seat. never been here. I would remember your face. I'm curious to know what brings you here. Today must be my lucky day. In my job, I usually deal with punks, not cute dolls like you. I'm a detective. You happen to know is Paul Eaton? The American? Paul Eaton? Yes, I know him. He's been filling our heads with his stories for the past month. He and the owner are mates. Wait, I just, I just realized I'm an idiot because uh, when I said this lie, which actually it's interesting that she didn't call me on that, but uh, w when I told her that I served in the same regiment uh, with Paul uh, in the Great War, that's like utter nonsense because obviously uh, he's American, uh, at least he's pretending to be American, uh, and I'm French, so you know, that, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The 
The owner, Hulot. He's also your friend. Hmm. Would you be kind enough to introduce us? The owner's not here. He's just driven off. Actually, I think he had a rendezvous with Eaton. Interesting story about Eaton. Is he on to something big? Did he give you any details? Mind you, with guys like him, you never know what to believe. I'm fond of you, Snoop. You know how to go about things. I'm going to help you. Paul Eaton was in Paris for a contract. A scam that would make him rich. His wife was his accomplice. Then he got the jitters. He is hiding now. Hulot, the owner, definitely knows more. You'll have to see him about that. Only thing is, he's not too fond of private snoops. Charming, Vivian Lees. I can feel that, like me, you're dying to know where Paul Eaton and his wife are. What was Paul planning to do after his job? Any ideas? The owner, Hulot, knows a thing or two. Paul only spoke English and he never mentioned any names. He could not have known much. It's not because you drink like a fish that you know more. It was his other half who pulled the strings. Hmm. I dislike how how much th th he's hitting on her uh, despite knowing her for like a minute like you know this whole uh, overprotective attitude where I, he can't just normally ask about the guy he has to uh, input this this little part about oh if he's bothering you I'm going to like kick his ass I I'm not a fan of that like I would, I, I am interested in the answer to this question, I just think the, the latter part is unnecessary. What about Paul? Does he come here often? You know, if he starts bugging you, it would give me more reasons to nail him. You know, Jacques, that Eaton smells like trouble. One day, he turns up from God knows where with his little British accent. After a few drink sessions with Hulot, the owner, he loses his accent. After that, he shows up here practically every day, more American than ever. Then wham, no more news. Surely have been planning something. Could not have just given up like a complete idiot. Must be a diversion. It smacks of a wild goose chase. Charming and smart, that PI. Only he has it wrong. It was not the banker's money the Edens were after, it was a treasure he had hidden in his place. The woman took care of seducing him. Paul was there to pick the fruit when it was ripe. He was completely manipulated, the poor Paul. That's all you know, is it? In any case, someone as charming as you is always beyond suspicion. Ciao, Snoop. Good luck. Okay, can I talk with anyone else here? Like Hulo is is not here currently, supposedly. Mm, is there anything else on my map? Mm, police 
station? Not really, so I guess I am going to ask the rest of the questions just to get more of a thread. You again? It seems like you enjoy hanging around here. At your service now that we're acquainted. before coming to the Alambic and like magic they disappeared so I thought you might be able to help me we do not really know what Eaton is doing in Paris in the beginning he said he was with his sister a student after a few binges his sister had become his wife and they were both onto the scam of the century Again, I'm not, not a fan of this line, but I am going to exhaust all of the dialogue options, I think, just to know where to go to proceed. Very nice. Pretty name. Your knight in shining armor left you alone in such a place. That's hardly one. I'm old enough to look after myself, but thanks for the thought. Damn it, this is too much. I'm always one step behind. This time, I'll catch them before they slip away again. It is simple, Jacques. The owner went dashing off. He mentioned a restaurant, getting back late. How would I know? A restaurant. How fitting. I was planning on inviting you. But a restaurant in Paris is like looking for a needle in the haystack. Any idea which one? And why would I know? Eaton talked about going out to a chic restaurant with his wife, but he did not even know which one. It was Hulot who scribbled down the address before leaving. That's all you know, is it? In any case, someone as charming as you is always beyond suspicion. Ciao, Snoop. Good luck. You again? Seems like you enjoy hanging around here. At your service now that we're acquainted. Mm. That's all you know, is it? In any case, someone as charming as you is always beyond suspicion. Ciao, Snoop. Good luck. Mm. She said he has written down the address before he left, but written it down where? Maybe I could somehow see... Yeah, yeah, like the... You know, the indentation of what was written on the first page. Uh, yeah, 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 I guess if he was writing, you know, if you're pushing uh, your pen or whatever uh, very hard onto the paper, you would leave an indentation uh, on another page. So it's what? Um, the Chez Alexandre restaurant. Now, what is what is weird is that this guy didn't react in any way to that. Like, that's a bit of a weird behavior on my part, I would say. But let's go there. Um, although I will go there next time, I guess, because this episode. Uh, has been long enough so I'm going to save and end it for now that's all for this one and I will see you in the next one bye